So we're taking a spore print here. And the reason I put a glass jar over the cap of the mushroom is simply so that air isn't blowing the spores around. It's gonna leave a much more effective spore print and it will drop a lot quicker. And a spore print is relevant when you are looking at all the factors to differentiate the mushroom you're looking at between potential lookalikes. It's just a very <laughs> unique signifier uh, specific to a mushroom. Joe, we have a couple different spore prints here that I've taken on different colors of paper. You don't know what color the spore print is going to be. That said, it's important to try and use a variety of colors. Normally just white and black is fine, but you see, sometimes you have to improvise. <laughs> Small, clustered, white gills attached, growing in a mixed lot on decomposing hardwood. in Assemblyman Jones's office. Um, I just received a letter from New York State Agriculture and Markets stating that um, you have been deemed a mushroom identification expert. 